Hello, second and third grades. It is story time. And today we will be reading a book called Goldie Socks and the Three Librarians by Jackie Mims Hopkins and illustrated by John Manders. This book is a great book to read about making a good book selection. You want to make sure that you are choosing books from the library that you can read. Remember, practicing reading is making us better readers. So we always want to be reading books on our own. This book talks about some ways that we can do that. Once upon a time, nestled deep in an enchanted forest, there lived a book-loving bear family. Papa Bear was a public librarian. Mama Bear was a school librarian. And their son, Baby Bear, was a librarian in training at the Grizz Lee Preschool. One morning, a little girl named Goldie Socks was on her way to school. Goldie Socks usually walked along the road, but this day, since she was running particularly late, she decided to take a shortcut through the forest. By and by, Goldie Socks came upon an astonishing sight. There, in the middle of the forest, she saw a cottage that appeared to be made out of books. Goldie Socks loved books more than bears love honey, so she went up to the house for a closer look. She knocked on the door, and to her surprise, it creaked open. Cautiously, Goldie Socks peeked inside. Shelves and shelves of wondrous books lined the walls. She called out to see if anyone was home, but no one answered. Goldie Socks knew she shouldn't go in, but the temptation of all those books was more than she could bear. Once inside the cottage, Goldie Socks went straight to the shelves and began browsing through the books. The first book she pulled off the shelf was too big. In fact, it was so heavy it fell on the floor. Goldie Socks went to another shelf, but the book she took from this shelf was too little. Then she looked through some nonfiction books and found one that was just right. Goldie Socks wandered over to another shelf and opened up a chapter book. She used the five finger rule to see if the book was too hard. She started with a closed fist. When she came to a word she couldn't read, she put one finger up. All five fingers went up while reading the first page of the book, so it was too hard for her. She tried another book, but it was too easy. Then she found a book of fairy tales that was just right. After she found several books that were just right for her, Goldie Socks began searching for the perfect place to read them. Goldie Socks looked around the room and spotted a big lazy bear recliner. She climbed up in the enormous chair and pushed back, but it went back too far. She surveyed the room again, and this time she spied a poofy couch with lots of pillows. Goldie Socks sprang into the air and landed smack dab in the middle of the couch. Pillows flew everywhere. The couch was too squishy. Maybe there was a comfy place upstairs, she thought. When Goldie Socks reached the top of the stairs, she saw a tent made out of a blanket. She crawled inside the cozy tent, opened the book of fairy tales, and began reading. Yes, this place was just right. Around noon, the three librarians came home for lunch.
Papa Liberian immediately noticed one of his books on the floor. Somebody's been looking at my big books and left one on the floor, he said. Then Mama Liberian said, Somebody's been looking at my little books and put one back on the shelf with the pages showing instead of the spine. Then Baby Liberian said, Somebody's been looking at my nonfiction books and one is gone. Papa Liberian looked at another shelf and said, Somebody's been looking at my hard books and left one on top of the shelf. Somebody's been looking at my easy books and put one back on the shelf upside down, said Mama Liberian. Then Baby Liberian said, Somebody's been looking at my fairy tale books and one is gone. Papa Liberian saw that his favorite chair was not in the same position that he had left it. Somebody's been sitting in my recliner and left it pushed back, he said. Then Mama Liberian said, Somebody's been on my poofy couch and knocked all the pillows on the floor. The three Liberians crept up the stairs. When they got to the top, Baby Liberian said, somebody's been in my cozy reading tent and there she is. Goldie Socks looked up from her book and saw the big sharp teeth of the three Liberians. Smiling at her. Papa, Mama, and Baby Liberian joined Goldie Socks in the tent. Papa Liberian read a story to everyone, and it was just right. 